UPBGE 0.36 was released on July 7th, so I'm a bit late, but finally ready to cover it. Starting with the Properties tab, at the very top, under Game Debug, there's a new option called Profile Size. This basically scales the debug text to fit your monitor. This is very helpful for people who have monitors with a very high DPI. You can also set it to normal, big, or bigger. This way, you don't have to put your eyes right up to the screen to see your frame rate. Another small feature is the support of more mouse buttons. Originally, there were four to six options available for mouse buttons. Now there's support for about seven to eight. This will be great for people who want to add more support for gaming mice in their games. Logic nodes are no longer applied to logic bricks. This means that logic nodes will be applied as Python components. If you have any errors, just go to the preferences and type nodes, then under logic nodes plus, go to the update UP logic modules. UI widgets were also added, allowing you to add a user interface to your game completely with logic nodes. So no more throwing a random camera under your level to make UI. This also makes it easy to make your own custom mouse cursors. Now, one of the most exciting features for me is the real-time compositing feature for overlaying effects and color grading on top of your game. By going to the shading tab at the top right of the viewport, you can change from disabled to always, allowing you to composite effects directly onto your game, instead of just making effects with material shaders. This can also be toggled using logic nodes, which will be great for making menus to adjust settings in-game. I also got a comment asking about this feature, and at the time I didn't have a good answer, but now it's just built right into the game engine. Just know if your rendering samples are too high, this could cause your game to lose a lot of frames due to the engine rendering passes multiple times per frame. VR support was also added to the Blender game engine. The developer for this feature isn't connected to the UPBGE dev team, so I'm not sure what kind of support it'll have. But if you'd like to learn more, I have a link to the release notes in the description below. Easy Online is another addition to UPBGE. Now as a feature directly built into the game engine. This will be awesome to play around with and something I definitely want to make more videos on. Now I do have a few things to share regarding the stability of this new release. Before I go into it, I just want to say that all the issues that I have run into are subject to change in future updates. This is just my experience using the engine from first release. Now starting with the search function in the logic node editor. It just doesn't work. This makes looking for specific nodes pretty slow. At first I thought it was my download and that it might have been corrupted in some way. Or is just because I downloaded it from the older release page. So I deleted UPBGE and re-downloaded it about three times trying different releases. I settled with the main download and still have the issue. It's not a big deal, but it'll be nice when it's fixed. Crashing. I will find that many of the new or even some of the old logic nodes will just randomly crash Blender. As I was testing the new nodes to see their functions, as soon as I played the game, it would just crash. This could also just be the update to the logic system I mentioned earlier. As far as the new release goes, I would call this a win. Can't wait to do my side-by-side -side comparison of 0.3 and 0.36. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you found my video helpful, leave a like, and if you have anything you want to say, leave a comment. If I got anything wrong, let me know in the comments as well. I've been Lox, and I'll see you in the next video.